Imagine a world where the sands of time not only witness the passage of history but actively conceal it, guarding secrets capable of redefining our fundamental understanding of the human journey. In the heart of the vast Sahara Desert, beneath layers of sand and stone accumulated over millennia, a discovery so profound has emerged that it challenges the very narrative of our origins and dispersals. This is not a fantasy woven from science fiction. It's a real-life mystery, meticulously unraveled by scientists exploring the arid, yet once fertile, landscapes of Libya. Today, on SCI Discovery Chronicles, we embark on a journey to unearth a lost human lineage whose echoes resonate from the depths of a verdant Sahara. The discovery at Takarkori Rock Shelter, a window to a lost world. Our story takes us to southwestern Libya, to a rugged, mountainous region known as the Akakis Mountains. Here, nestled amidst the rock formations, archaeologists discovered the Takarkori Rock Shelter. This site was no ordinary cave, approximately 10,000 to 5,000 years ago during an extraordinary period known as the Green Sahara or the African Humid Period, Takarkori served as a vital refuge, a home for ancient peoples. Imagine, if you will, a Sahara not as the relentless desert we know today but as a lush savanna dotted with lakes, rivers, and abundant vegetation, an environment that supported a rich diversity of life, including thriving human populations. Excavations at Takarkori, led by teams such as those from Sapienza University of Rome, with crucial genetic analyzes conducted by institutions like the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History have revealed layers of human occupation, stone tools, pottery fragments, and, most extraordinarily, the mortal remains of its ancient inhabitants. Among these finds were the skeletons of two women dated to approximately 7,000 years ago, whose bodies were naturally mummified by the arid conditions and the salt in the shelter's sediment, preserving them remarkably across the millennia. But the true treasure they guarded was encoded in their DNA. The genetic revelation, whispers of a ghost lineage. What makes these Takarkori individuals, identified in recent studies as TK01 and TK002, so incredibly special is the story told by their genomes. The analysis of their ancient DNA, a remarkable technical feat, revealed a genetic makeup that stands apart, distinct from any known modern human population and from many other ancient African lineages. This isn't a distant cousin we easily recognize. It's like finding a branch of the human family tree once thought lost or whose existence was only theorized. Scientists use the term ghost lineage or ghost population to describe an ancestral group that contributed genetically to subsequent populations but for which we have no direct fossil evidence or which did not survive as a distinct population. In the case of Takarkori, these individuals appear to represent a lineage that existed, thrived, and then vanished, leaving behind only these genetic echoes. One of the most intriguing findings is the almost complete absence of Neanderthal ancestry in their DNA. Most modern non-African humans carry about 1-2% Neanderthal DNA, a result of interbreeding when our Homo sapiens ancestors expanded out of Africa. This Neanderthal heritage was also reintroduced into some North African populations through later back migrations. The fact that the Takarkori individuals lack this signature suggests that their ancestors either never left Africa or were part of an African group that remained profoundly isolated. Not receiving this genetic influx that swept through other parts of the continent and the world. This isolation might date back much earlier, perhaps over 50,000 years, indicating a very ancient divergence from other human groups. A different branch on the human tree. Rethinking out of Africa, the genetic profile of the Takarkori individuals, while unique, shows some distant affinities with ancient hunter-gatherers from North Africa, such as the Iberomorusians from Taforolt in Morocco, who lived much earlier. However, they remain genetically distinct, suggesting that North Africa during the Green Sahara and before was a mosaic of diverse populations, each with its own evolutionary history. 
The Takarkori lineage appears to have split from other known African groups, such as the ancestors of present-day Hadza or Koizan hunter-gatherers in the very remote past. These discoveries challenge the traditional, simplified out of Africa model, which posits a single origin and primary dispersal for modern humans from a single region of Africa. Instead, the Takarkori data, along with other recent findings, support a more complex scenario, sometimes called African multi regionalism or structured pan Africanism. This model suggests that various archaic and anatomically modern human populations coexisted in different regions of Africa for long periods, evolving semi-independently but occasionally interacting, exchanging genes and culture. It's as if the African continent was a vast evolutionary laboratory with multiple cradles of humanity. The Takarkori discovery aligns with growing evidence of other ghost lineages, both archaic and basal modern human, that have contributed to the African gene pool. For example, genomic studies in contemporary West African populations have suggested introgression from a yet unidentified archaic hominin. Collectively, these findings paint a picture of our evolutionary history that is far less linear and much more interwoven than previously understood. Life in a Verdant Paradise Culture and Isolation in the Green Sahara The Green Sahara period, which lasted roughly from 11,000 to 5,000 years ago, transformed the world's largest hot desert into a land of opportunity. Intensified monsoons brought rainfall, feeding rivers, vast lakes like Megachad, and covering the dunes with savanna vegetation. This environment not only allowed for human survival but also fostered cultural development. The inhabitants of the Takarkori Rock Shelter were Neolithic pastoralists. Archaeological evidence such as animal bones and lipid residue analysis on pottery shards indicates they herded cattle and, possibly, sheep and goats. Notably, there's evidence of dairy consumption around 7,000 years ago, one of the earliest occurrences of this practice in Africa. They were also skilled artisans, producing pottery decorated with distinct patterns, such as the dotted wavy line and lighter band traditions found across a vast area of the Sahara and Sahel. Here lies a fascinating paradox, while their material culture, like pottery styles, suggests connections and exchanges with neighboring regions, their genetic profile points to prolonged isolation. How is this possible? Perhaps ideas and technologies traveled through networks of sporadic contact, while the main populations remained genetically distinct due to geographical barriers, social structures limiting marriage outside the group, or simply the vastness of the territory. The Green Sahara, though more hospitable, was still an immense landscape, allowing groups to maintain their genetic identity over millennia, even while participating in a broader sphere of cultural interaction. Conclusion, Echoes in the Sand, the discovery of the Takarkori ghost lineage offers a fascinating and poignant glimpse into the hidden chapters of our deep past. It serves as a powerful reminder that the story of human evolution is not a simple, linear march from a single ancestor to modern humanity, but rather a complex tapestry woven with multiple threads of different populations, migrations, interactions, and long periods of isolation. The Sahara, today a formidable barrier, was once a corridor and a refuge, nurturing a human diversity we are only now beginning to appreciate. Every discovery like that at Takarkori brings us a little closer to understanding the rich and intricate history of our species, revealing unexpected connections and long-lost lineages that have contributed to who we are today. The dessert still holds many secrets. Join us on this ongoing journey of discovery as we continue to unravel the intricate tapestry of human history. Subscribe to SCI Discovery Chronicles, like this video, and share it for more dives into the wonders of our past and the incredible revelations science brings us. What do you think of this incredible window into humanity's past? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.